Hello everyone, I'm creating a quick video just to make a few announcements regarding content and the state of the channel. First off, I'm excited to announce a new sponsor. Uh, the team over at get.tech is allowing me to bundle a free one year .tech domain with all course purchases through my website. So if you purchase a course, I will send you a promo code to redeem your free one year .tech domain. And if you've purchased a course in the past or a course bundle, feel free to shoot me an email and I will be happy to send you a promo as well. If you would still like a domain, but you don't want to purchase a course bundle, you can also use the coupon code JD18 at checkout to get 90% off your order. So let's say I want Joe's YouTube.tech. I'd hit search, see if it's available. And then we'd go to say one year, add to cart, proceed, proceed. And then if you enter in code JD18 and hit apply, you'll get 90% off one year or five years. So I'm really excited for this ongoing partnership. I even got a couple of domains myself. The second announcement I wanted to make is I've created a Discord channel for people going through the tutorials, uh, people subscribed on YouTube, and people following along on any other course platform. If you don't know what Discord is, Discord is similar to Slack. It's a chat app and it effectively allows you to create an online community. So I really enjoy using Discord. It has both text and voice chat. I think they're adding video chat sometime in the future too, but Discord is something I use on a daily basis and it starts up when I turn my computer on. I try to keep up with the YouTube comments, but there's so many and it's also harder to keep track of the older threads. So it's, it's kind of hard to facilitate it back and forth just in the comments, whereas a chat will be much easier. Now, I have no idea what to expect based on who joins the channel. I mean, it could be complete chaos. There could be a thousand people in the channel tomorrow, or maybe there'll be 10. I have no idea. But I think going forward, this will be the best way to facilitate one-on-one -on -one help, either from me or a co-instructor, or if it gets really busy, I might even hire a dedicated tutor to help you out with the courses. So I will include a link to join the Discord server uh, in the description of this video. So the third announcement I wanted to make is I created a subreddit, and this subreddit will be dedicated to sharing free courses. So I kind of shared a few just to kind of set an example for other people that want to post. I want people to be able to share Udemy, Skillshare, or even teachable courses. Um, I know there are a few other course taking platforms, and if you want to share those as well. But this will be a subreddit exclusively for courses. So I want to be able to foster a relationship between instructors and students. So if you're an instructor, feel free to share on the subreddit. And if you're a student, feel free to enroll in any courses you see here. I used to manage a closed Facebook group, but it became hard to effectively moderate posts because, of course, you'd get spam. And it's, it's hard to tell whether someone is going to be a good member of the community or not. Whereas if you're not familiar with uh, Reddit, how Reddit works is it, it works on an upvote downvote system. So relevant content gets upvoted content that's not relevant or that's breaking terms of service or that the community doesn't like, they can downvote. And it's it makes an effective system for the community to kind of self-moderate. Also, the really cool thing about Reddit is there's kind of an aggregate feature so that if something on our subreddit gets upvoted, say, I don't know, 10, 20, 30,000 times, it will make its way to home or popular on Reddit. And that's really cool because it kind of gives you that viral potential, whereas a closed Facebook group obviously has its limitations. As far as YouTube goes, I will be uploading the complete Red Hat tutorial series as individual videos with English subtitles. So stay on the lookout for that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, I will include links to everything I discussed in this video in the description below. I will also be out of the house this week. I'll be pet sitting, so I'll have some spare time and I might do a live stream and hopefully I can answer some of the questions you guys have. That's about it for this video. Thank you for your continued support.